in the President Clinton's decision? I think uh, the communities themselves uh, exerted a kind of pressure on the administration, and they do exert a kind of pressure on the Congress, on the Senate. But we do care. We do care. We've gotten in, and allowing the door to be shut behind us would be uh, it would amount to an act of tremendous. Um, what would be the right right word? Well, it would be an unfriendly, unfriendly measure to, to all our neighbours in the in the area where we where our countries are, who have aspirations to join NATO. And uh, not only because all of our three countries are doing our very best to join the European Union as well. In a couple of months, negotiations that all three of us plus three other countries will have are going to be kicking off for us to join the European the Union is going to be a very arduous, very long drawn, very tough process, which is not going to be over for another five years or so. Uh, meanwhile, NATO ex enlargement is here at hand. Let's go on with it. Uh, US Senate will take the decision, but we think that such a decision should be taken by a clear vote and a very strong majority. It would be a good signal that the US Senate has the feeling that NATO is now entering in a new phase. And we have the feeling that with such a strong vote, our countries will bring a kind of new optimism to the organization. There is no option of enforcing Enforcing by countries who aspire to join NATO sooner or later.